Flamingo retired as a warlord with a staggering bounty of 340 million and stayed behind the front line serving the other Yonko and from time to time the world government. Despite being one of the greatest figures in the underworld and running the biggest smuggling operation from devil fruits to weapons, no one dared to even go against this figure until Luffy arrived. Why was this? To put it simply, Doofy is surrounded by a family whom are all individually prized fighters and when all together make an indestructible force that not many pirates would dare to attack, with the exception being the Yonko. However, Doofy provided Kaido with an army of devil fruits and his name alone was enough to defer any potential threats. So who are these pirates that are allied with Doflamingo? Whilst there are only three elite officers left with the death of Virgo, but amongst them are Diamante, Treble and Pika. Diamante is the wielder of the Ripple Ripple Fruit with a bounty of 99 million and occupies the Diamond Seat. He is regarded as the hero of the Colosseum and has the ability to turn everything he comes into contact with to fabric which allows him to dodge attacks and even bring out weapons that he has covered them in. Whilst showcasing impressive strength the second he knew he was fighting against the second in command of the revolutionary army, he knew immediately how outmatched he was and despite using multiple cunning tricks, he still couldn't kill someone who didn't even have a leg. Moving on from this, the next elite officer is Treble who occupies the club seat and is regarded as the chief of staff. He hails from the North Blue and essentially the weakest of the three elite members. Having eaten the sticky sticky fruit, he has a gross power which enables him to control mucus, but he is still somehow a paramecia type. This character had the most influence on Dofi as he was the first to see his true strength when he awakened his conquerors at such a young age, and after that guided Dofi down his path of evil. Whilst at his prime he may have burned cities, in his current state he got one-shotted by law quite easily. Whilst he may be lacking in physical strength, he is highly respected by the other officers and is considered to be the Joker's right-hand man. Because of the trust Doofy has in him, he was in charge of protecting Sugar, who is the crown jewel and the reason for his success, as she held his entire operation together. But more of her later. The final member would be Pika, who was chosen as the next opera but chose a life of a pirate instead. Having eaten the stone stone fruit, he is undoubtedly the most troublesome opponent who is able to control stone and take the shape of even a giant, making it impossible to find his actual body without advanced observation haki. Whilst he may be seen as a powerhouse, he isn't exactly a versatile user as he can't summon an infinite amount of stone. So his performance is highly dependent on his environment, but apart from Doflamingo, he is someone with the greatest potential to become stronger, considering he is able to infuse his whole body with Haki. However, it is shown that while this is impressive, his Haki is still not at a strong level considering that Zoro was able to cut through him, but he did use the secret technique that he used against Mihawk himself. I would say the elite members are not chosen because of their strength but because of the loyalty that Doflamingo places upon them. While most pirate groups operate on a hierarchy of strength, Doflamingo operates on loyalty and this is why I believe some of the members present below them might be stronger than them. For example, Gladius who has the pop pop foot has an immense destructive capability as he is able to expand even himself so that it can explode. However, his body has remained completely unharmed. To push someone who can generate unbreakable barriers and he isn't the best user of this fruit because if used properly he can blast away anyone who even comes near him. It appears his loyalty to Dofi is unparalleled considering he basically listens to anyone in a flamingo cloak. Next up is Buffalo who is regarded as an assassin and since he has eaten the spin spin fruit it allows him the gift of flight and this is the most useful ability. In terms of fighting ability, he doesn't bring much to the family and is more of an uber service. But why he is paired with Baby 5 for their murderous intentions. Baby 5 is quite an interesting person considering she betrayed Dofi instantly for the first guy she stole. However, she still has the arms arms devil fruit and has the ability to manifest any sort of weapon. And this can range from guns to literal missiles. Whilst she hasn't been in a lot of combat for us to see the true extent of her ability, but she is the last member of Pika's squad and the first member of Diamante's squad is Lao Ji, definitely the oldest member in the squad and relies completely on his martial arts talent alone and doesn't even know Fishman Karate. But with his quirky attitude that's quirky without the G, he's quite the comical character to watch as long as his back doesn't break and considering he has stored up quite a lot of muscle reserves using his geofest technique. Next up is Senor Pink whom undoubtedly has one of the saddest backstories present and while we all found him weird at first we have grown to admire him. 
Having eaten the swim swim fruit, it allows him to swim through any surface, making him the perfect assassin as he can infiltrate any place and ironically, despite eating the swim swim fruit, he still cannot swim through water. Seeing how much damage he inflicted on Frankie, it's quite safe to assume that he is one of the stronger figures from Dofi's crew, but still not at the fighting level of the monster trio. Matchwise is quite possibly one of the devil fruit users which presents so many advantages but also some weird disadvantages. Having eaten the ton ton fruit, he can adjust his weight to quite literally be 10,000 tons. And you would think this affects his speed, but no, he's still as nimble as always, meaning his bones and muscles can handle his body weight. But his durability hasn't increased at all, making it extremely easy to cut him using swords or pierce his body using guns. Considering that a giant was able to outclass him in a strength contest, it shows that his strength isn't at the apex at all and in fact I believe that even Luffy's punch would be able to send him flying, making his devil foot weak to the power scaling system present. The final character in Diamante's officers would be Dellinger, making him the final officer in this list who doesn't have a devil foot but he is still a hybrid of a fishman meaning he has a very advanced skill level in fishman karate. Greater than that of Hody Jones but still not at the level of Jimbe. His arrogant personality boosted with his skill level and him being the fastest in Dofi's crew makes him a very resilient fighter but his arrogance cost him victory over Cavendish. He is undoubtedly much more skilled than Cavendish but his mistake in underestimating Hakuba cost him and on a side note Cavendish was also one of the rookies that was building his name at an alarming rate alongside Law and Kid. But for some reason he failed to gain the notoriety required and didn't become one of the worst generation. Finally moving on to Treble's officers who have the most underrated devil foots with Giola who has the art art foot and the ability to make art out of every living thing including trapping humans in an art form. What makes this devil foot truly powerful is that it's one of the few fruits that allow the user to navigate over water. One of a special attack which is Heaven's Door art literally creates a field of space enclosed by art that she can manipulate to her will and use however she likes and while she is lacking in durability her devil fruits very unique and versatile powers make up for it. Next up is Violet who contains the glare glare fruit which allows her to view people's memories and even see through their clothing and if this isn't enough she can see through everything from a bird's view with a radius of 4000 kilometers. Her clarivance ability is severely underrated and people overlook how this devil foot is literally a tactician's dream. And I know Violet wasn't exactly loyal to Doflamingo but if the navy or Yonko had this ability then wars would end a lot sooner. Finally coming to the last character in the Don Quixote family and Sugar is definitely someone we can end on a high note. With her hobby hobby foot she gains the ability to turn all living things she comes to contact with to a toy and everyone's memory of that person is erased making it the perfect way of disposing people without actually killing them. Now Sugar isn't the best user and considering that this devil fruit stops her aging and she remains as a 10 year old. But what shows Dofi's loyalty to his family is that he never thought about killing her and getting a better user but instead assigned Treble to guard her and this shows that he isn't a heartless monster. These are all the top officers in the Don Quixote family and whilst they didn't try to conquer the new world, they most certainly could have posed a threat to the Yonkos. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video.